Davidson has the longest winning streak in the nation and the leading scorer in the NCAA tournament. But can the Wildcats do what no other team in the nation has done the last 27 games, save Purdue, and that's beat Wisconsin. Hey, how are you folks? Jason Horwitz, glad to be with you on the NCAA Tournament Previews presented by Brother Printers and All-in-Ones. It's the three against the ten in the Midwest Regional. And for more, we bring in CBS College Sports Network Steve Lapis to break it down. And Steve, to this point, there hasn't been a bigger upset than Davidson College over Georgetown. And no player that people are more excited about than Stephen Curry. But now put them up against Wisconsin. How do they match up? Well, first, let's say this. The karma is on their side. They are now the darlings of America, even though they're not the lowest seeds, whereas we know there's two 12s left, but they are obviously the Cinderella in this tournament. And it's a very difficult physical matchup for them because they are going to play against one of the most physical teams in the country because the way they play so in tight defensively, you are constantly running into big, strong bodies. So if we're going to look for some physical mismatches, Understand this, Wisconsin has Davidson overmatched physically at every position. That doesn't mean that Davidson can't play well and win the game. But from a strength standpoint, it's going to be tough on Davidson in this game. But the Wildcats have been overmatched physically against Gonzaga. They were overmatched physically against Georgetown, certainly. And still, Stephen Curry managed to score 30 in the second half alone against the Zags. 25 in the second half alone against uh, the Hoyas and carry his team to victory. What is it about this guy? How do you stop him? Well, this guy is right now on fire. When you shoot 20, when you make 25 points and 30 points in the second half of two NCAA games, the bottom line with this guy is you can't let him catch the ball. I've, I'm a strong believer that this particular Davidson team cannot win if Stephon Curry goes 7 for 20, 8 for 21. So what do you have to do? You have to deny him the ball. If you let him catch the ball, I think you're making a big mistake. And what I would do is I would have one guy face guard him and tell that one guy, you don't have to worry about helping. You don't have to worry about our normal defensive principles. You just have to face guard this guy and not let him catch the ball. The less he catches it or the more you make him work to catch the ball, the better it is for you. Well, that means that it's going to be even more work for Jason Richards, his point guard, to get him the ball. And all the press has been going to Stephen Curry. But, Steve, we have to pay some homage to his point guard because he's been fabulous as well. Well, he's the leading assist man in the country. He has an unbelievable assist to turnover ratio. He's a senior. He's a great leader. He's had an unbelievable season. There's no doubt about it. But you, if you keep the pressure on Stephen Curry so that Jason Richards can't get him the ball whenever he wants, that's going to make a difference. I wouldn't make Stephen Curry work for every point. I'd make him work for every catch. Steve, as for Wisconsin, it's a team that uh, handled Cal State Fullerton, and then they handled Michael Beasley, especially in the second half defensively. And offensively, at least against the Wildcats, they relied on Trayvon Hughes. But in this game, it, it, does you see the biggest mismatch being Brian Butch with the fact that he could take them inside or step outside? Well, I, there's no doubt Brian Butch is the, is the biggest mismatch. And the thing about Brian Butch that's going to be really tough same thing with Joe Krabbehoff is a Stiesma who played great the last game is how do you keep these guys off the glass? And that's going to be the biggest problem is they're big, burly bodies, and they're going to be standing there. They're going to be very hard to get out of the lane and, you know, and, and get better position than they get. That's going to be Davidson's biggest challenge, getting Stephen Curry the ball and then getting those guys off the offensive glass. Steve, Georgetown was one of the best defensive teams in the nation going into the game. Second half really struggled against Davidson. Wisconsin, throughout the season, best defense, at least points per game allowed in the nation. Do you see them slowing down Davidson and winning this game? Yes, I do see them slowing down and winning this game. And there's a big difference between Wisconsin and Georgetown. Georgetown, great defensive team in, in terms of defensive field goal percentage. As, as Wisconsin is, but Georgetown not nearly as physical. This Wisconsin team is a physical defensive team, Georgetown a more athletic defensive team. So you like Wisconsin to win and move on to the Elite Eight under Bo Ryan. Steve Lapis of the CBS College Sports Network, thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Game starts at 7, 10 p.m. Eastern on Friday. Of course, the game on CBS. And for more on this game or any other in the regional semis, be sure to stay with CBSSports.com or the CBS College Sports Network leading up the game. For Steve Lapis, I'm Jason Horowitz. Take care.